is crazy. Today is a super exciting day. It is moving day. What the heck is it crazy echoey in here because it's empty. I can barely believe it. This is, I don't even know what to call this room. I feel like I have to whisper because it's so echoey. This past weekend, we moved the girls into their new rooms. What? An inspector came by, cleared it, and we were like, all right, let's do it. There are still a few things that need to be done in the addition and even in this room, like some things need to be finished, but for the most part, everything is cleared structurally and all of that good stuff. So we're gonna start moving people into place the way that it should have gone well over a year ago. So this room, will be Wolfgang's room. It is Avelina's old room. Just give you an overview here. The only thing left to do in this room is really just find something to put here. This is the kind of stuff we've been dealing with. This used to be Wentworth's closet. His room is on the other side of this wall. So we cut his closet in half to make a closet in this room, but now we don't have like a threshold there. This is a piece of like wood, I don't know, LVP or something from the new rooms. We wanted it to match, you know, kind of the rooms throughout the house. So I think we did a good job matching it, but it's not seamless, you know what I mean? Also that it's really dirty and dusty from all the drywall work that they've done. Oh, and there's a hole in that wall. Like, I don't even know why. But for the most part, everything is cleared out in here. This is where the old closet was. So the new paint looks exactly the same. If you follow me on Instagram, or maybe I shared it here, I don't remember. There was a little debacle with the paint. I went to Home Depot because I heard that they match Sherwin-Williams paint. They like color match or something. Um, I'm here to tell you the tale. They don't. <laughs> they don't match. There's another hole in the wall. What the heck? Anyway, I tried to save some time going to Home Depot and not driving all the way to Sherwin-Williams. It would have been like an hour, you know, there and back, and Home Depot is just right up the road. So I tried to save time, but it didn't save anything. It actually wasted my time and money because I bought it from Home Depot. It doesn't match. And then Alex had to drive up to Sherwin-Williams anyway and get a new thing of paint. But the color matches. Part of me just wanted to repaint the whole room. Like, I don't really care about this color. This is gray. This is just what color it was when we moved in. We didn't have enough paint le left over in the garage to like, you know, patch up the whole wall. But now I'm thinking maybe we should have just painted the whole wall, but it doesn't matter. So this past weekend, we spent a lot of time moving the kids from their current rooms to their new bedrooms. And that was really fun. We donate a lot of stuff and so today I'm going to focus on moving the smaller kids into their bedrooms and then moving my desk into the office space. So this is, I can't even really wrap my head around it. Just found a water bottle I was looking for this morning. A lot of cleaning needs to be done in this room. This was mm, Eleanor's old room. It will be Meredith's room. She is our artist. Eleanor and we left her bed frame in here, but this is I mean we swept that's fine But this is all paint on the floor and then paint on the wall. This is where she did all her paint work So we're gonna have to use some elbow grease to get this all up It does come up because we've cleaned it before just with like soap and water It's pretty simple, but you do have to like, you know scrub it anyway We left Eleanor's headboard in here. Meredith doesn't have a full bed. She's got a twin So we put her mattress in here. She slept in here uh, last night she's so excited for this room so I'm excited to move all of her stuff in and to have her feel like it's actually her room so the closets are cleared out at least I hope they are okay yeah cleared out the closets I shared in one of my previous videos that the older girls got like built-ins from Ikea in their closets that may be the plan for this one in the future. I don't have a lot of planning for these rooms as far as like decor and what I wanna put in here. I just wanna get their stuff in that they have right now moved into the rooms and then I'll start dreaming and scheming because I don't know, I'm gonna have to take that one room at a time. I started to think of things to get like, especially for the office, you know, and I feel like 
I don't know, it was well over a year ago where I, we found this fireplace. Alex was at an estate sale and he had me on FaceTime and I was like, oh my gosh, that fireplace, how much is it? We got it for like a screaming deal, $100 or something for this really nice, like fake fireplace, obviously. So that will be moving into my office. But anyway, so I collected that, but that's just been sitting in the garage. So I thought, well, I don't wanna collect more things and just clutter up the garage. And what if in two years I don't even want it? So short story long, we've got a lot to move, you know, here, there and everywhere. So let's get it going. I guess before I do that, I can even show you the progress that has already been made. <laughs> Slow progress, okay? I'll give you a glimpse on just like chaotically, let's move everything, you know? We spent a whole day doing this, just one day, and then we were burnt out and we're taking a break, but I'll show you what the girls' rooms look like right now. They are a little, a little bit of a mess, if you can imagine. Judgment-free zone and all that good stuff, but once we put the bed in here, I was like, oh my gosh, this place is huge. It's huge. So we moved her desk. We plan, we're doing built-ins in here. Oh my gosh, it's so big, right? It's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> this is all like donate and garbage. So this is going, but otherwise, uh, yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. And this is what her closet currently looks like. So she's settling in pretty nicely. We are still needing to move in all the bathroom stuff and there's still like tools and that, that was just an empty bag, but there's like tools and stuff cluttering up the counter. So the bathroom accessories, oh, I don't even want to talk about these mirrors. I feel like I did talk about them in the last vlog that I had and now you get to see them in broad daylight. Just, they don't deserve any more airtime than that. <laughs> So I'll take you into Alvalina's room. So she's settling in really nicely too and equally as massive of a bedroom. It's just insane. I don't even, I thought like, oh, let's make a little conversation area up here or maybe even in the nook over there. She wants a vanity. She's got a vision. We'll see if it fits in the budget, you know what I mean? But for now, like, you know, one day at a time we are getting all her things in here and kind of organizing it and stuff. So this is what her closet looks like so far. And I'm just so dang excited for them. It's such an exciting thing. Most exciting thing for me, obviously, is like getting my our bedroom back and then also having an office. It just seems crazy. It was all fun and games until I got to the carpet in the hallway. I shouldn't have gone to the gym this morning. The thing there's felt on the bottom of these feet so, I like to make things harder on myself because I didn't take the drawers out. All right, I'm gonna need a break. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I don't know where I'm gonna put anything. I'm out of breath. Somebody give me some water. Somebody give me some muscles. Oh Lord. All right, I have thought about going to Ikea and getting either a toddler bed for him because right now he is in a crib and he it's just so difficult to like transfer him in there. It's the worst. He's never been a good sleeper. He's like that kind of kid, right? It's like fine, but also is it? Anyway, so I've seen Ikea has those beds that are basically on the ground and then they have like a frame around them. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look around and see. I've done zero planning. I don't know what I'm gonna do in here, but I do know for now, I will bring the crib in just to get it out of my room, you know? And all of a sudden, all his furniture looks teeny tiny in here. <laughs> I could have done this with one hand tied behind my back. It still looks, what the heck happened to this crib? Was it like that when I bought it? <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna leave it there, but all of a sudden it looks so small. <laughs> I do have a full size crib I can put in here, but it's like, I don't even, it's not even worth it. It's in the attic. I've had it for, I think Meredith and Wentworth. I can't remember. It's Pottery Barn, it's really nice. But like, I don't care. <laughs> I think he has like two more things and that's it. This thing that I essentially just bought as like a rocking side table and also storage. It's where I store all of his extra diapers. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it because I don't have a whole dang closet for him. You know, we've been living like minimalists. I keep telling everyone, we are minimalists. No one believes me. <laughs> all right, that's it. You should see my room full of dust, full of cobwebs but also somehow empty. I do have that rocking chair that I got. I don't know where I'm gonna put that, but it's also really heavy. I don't know how I'm gonna bring it in. Watch me. Alex and his big muscles brought this in, so now I'm gonna have to rearrange all of this stuff and put it somewhere where it kind of makes sense. 
Unbelievable. Can you believe that this happened? Holy cow. It was kind of out of nowhere because, you know, obviously some things aren't finished completely in the edition or slash this room, whatever. But we just thought, you know, we can't wait any longer. Let's just do it. <laughs> so it was kind of on a whim after the inspector came and everything. But uh, yeah, we're like not finished, but no one cares. And we're moving on up, moving on in there. We, okay, Alex and I went around and made a list, mostly Alex, of all of the little things that needed to be completed, that needed to be fixed or finished, what have you. It is such a long list but it's like the little things, you know, the little things matter, but not when we're moving, I guess. So I have no idea what I'm actually going to do in Wolfgang's bedroom. Obviously right now I'm just moving the stuff in that he, that we already have for him and tidying up the floors. We've cleaned these floors over and over again. They're impossible. It's miserable. I also used the mop to clean the wall. That wall for whatever reason was filthy and we just never noticed it, I guess, or whatever. It doesn't matter. It needed cleaned, so I cleaned it. I don't know. I don't have plans for anyone's room. It will come in good time. I'm not in a rush to like finish everyone's room, but it would be nice to have them, you know, somewhat put together. So this lovely spot is where our artist lived. And <laughs> it is acrylic paint. And I thought, okay, well, I'll just wash it off the walls. Oh, not so easy. It came off the floor a lot easier than it came off of the walls. Thankfully, this is the same color paint that Alex had just gotten for the other room from Sherwin-Williams. I don't know the color. It's like Oasis something. That's not it. I don't know. But it, um, yeah, we ended up painting it. <laughs> But just painting over it, I was like, I could scrub this and maybe get more off. Maybe I'll get a magic eraser, whatever. But it was a big surface area. And I just figured, uh, yeah, Alex's idea to just paint over it. He wanted to paint over the dirt too. And I was like, well, let me just clean the walls first. You can't just paint over. It's the landlord special he was wanting to give. <laughs> I was like, let me at least clean it. Okay. So that's what we did. And then I used this scrub brush, which I don't even know where it came from, but I love this brush. It gets up everything. It's not too abrasive. I can use it on carpet upstairs. Like I use it on everything. It's amazing. I, it doesn't have a brand on it. I've tried to order similar brushes like from Amazon and stuff, but they're not as dense while also being kind of gentle. I don't know. It's hard to describe, but it's a magic brush and I don't know where it came from but I'm using it to get up all the paint off of the floor. And surprisingly, it came up pretty easy. I didn't go too hard on it. Like I could have done another pass and got all the little bits up, but I figured I'd leave that for Eleanor to do. <laughs> it is her mess after all. She's done this before. She's cleaned up the paint off of her floor, which is how I knew it was possible. And um, she was just in school this day and I just wanted to get it done. So I did it for her and she was happy that I did most of the hard labor. Okay. And for her new room, I said, uh, let's hold off on painting in here until I get you a drop cloth. So I ordered a drop cloth and ironically enough, I feel like it was delivered th just this morning, like just now I'll have to go check. But, um, yeah. And she's also want, we were discussing like, oh, maybe a spot, that's Wolfgang, <laughs> maybe a spot in the back lanai for her to be able to paint would be nice. Like, I don't know how we're going to work it out, but we have to figure out a spot where it's comfortable even in the summertime because, oh my goodness, he found the mirror. He's a lion, but we have to find a spot for her because the summertime gets so hot. So you don't even want to be outside and it's miserable. So we're gonna have to figure that out. For now, I just ordered ordered a drop cloth, and for now, I feel like that's good enough. We'll reevaluate as time goes on and the needs change or whatever the heck happens. So, um, yeah, if you have any ideas, that would be fantastic. I bought for her desk like a desk protector, and that just uh, that was a waste of money. <laughs> I actually feel like I don't know. Did it work? Did she ruin her desk before I put the protector on? I have no idea. Probably yes, but we'll see because her built-ins also have a desk in it and I definitely don't want that to get ruined. So needless to say, I need to find a spot for her where she could be creative without ruining life, <laughs> without ruining the walls and the desk and the things. And really, is it ruining or is it adding character? 
You can be the judge of that. But if you're an artist, you understand. If you have an artist, you feel me. You know what I mean? It's fine. So Alex came in and he is giving the walls a good scrub down too. And I don't think he knew that I already did this. I'm not sure. But in the tub, I just have, and I'm not even sure if it's good to use on hardwood, but I just have a little bit of Tide powder that I saw someone on Instagram do like clean, a cleaning, I forgot what it's called, clean something. She's in Canada. I don't really know. Anyway, so for Meredith, I thought, you know what would be great? Let's move the bed so she'll have more room for activities. But the way that I moved this is like, it kind of blocks the flow of the room. Like that's the entrance of the room. That's right where you, where you walk in. I said, okay, well, let's move it against this wall. Well, now she can't see the TV. Not that she watches much TV anyway, but the occasional movie, whatever. So I was like, well, this won't work. I don't like how this looks. And we were thinking, oh, let's put like maybe a bunk bed in here so she'll have more space underneath to clean. First of all, this room is huge. And I don't think we realized how big it was because the bed was always in the middle of the room. Did I even show you where we ended up putting it? So we ended up putting it. We didn't want to block the window because, you know, fire hazard and all that good stuff. So we wanted to keep the window clear because I thought, oh, it'd be great, like pushed up against that wall under the window. But we didn't want to block the window. I think I just said that. And so what we ended up doing was shoving it in a way where the headboard fit just between the window and the wall. Between the window, there's a wall. You get me. So that's where we put it. And it actually was perfect. And Alex did end up getting, because he was talking with her and like, oh, would you like a bunk bed with space underneath? Because that's what Wentworth is really interested in right now. And so he ordered one for Meredith. But now that the bed is up against the window, it's a full bed. She doesn't have a full mattress. She has a twin mattress. So we might put a twin frame in here everything is up in the air essentially okay so for now the um, bunk bed that Alex ordered won't be in for like a month and we could cancel the order oh he did end up ordering the bunk bed is what I'm trying to say and it's like nothing under there's no bed underneath it's just up top and underneath is like a desk and storage area you've seen the things from Ikea and such so it's something similar to that um they're pretty pricey not even a lie and That's what she said she wanted and we're just dealing with it. But now that she's been in this room for a few days with the bed up against the wall like this, we just twisted it around and that worked out the best. And there's so much space in there. I was like, I don't think we need a bunk bed in here. And I don't know if she necessarily likes sleeping on the top bunk. You know what I mean? (laughs) Wolfgang's always wanting to help, I tell you. And then he got paint all over the floor. So that was fun. Anyway, so... That's where we are on the bed situation, but it it ended up, you'll see, because I'll show a bigger clip of the bedroom, obviously not now, but it it ended up working out the way that we put the bed. I'm not sure if we're going to put a twin bed in there or keep it a full, I'm unsure. I mean, she's a growing girl. We might as well keep the full, but again, up in the air. We don't know anything. I don't know anything about anything, and that is the moral of my life. So I (laughs) went in here to tidy up. Piece of bread from the morning. I was in there that morning. And uh, that was the baby. I was making lunches and the baby was obviously with me. So I just handed him a piece of bread to keep him satisfied and out of my hair. (laughs) He brought it in here. It makes me laugh so hard. And then like, oh my gosh, just the, the random remnants. Okay. When I was moving, obviously all of Meredith's stuff into her new bedroom, I was thinking, oh my gosh, she has a closet. Like I can actually put her costumes and not have them just out in broad daylight, you know? So I was super excited to do that for her. We hung up her clothes. We tidied up her dresser. We did all the things, organized her toys. And it just, it's so exciting for her. Also equally as exciting for me because, (laughs) hey, under the bed. Honestly, I've seen worse, okay? Uh, Yeah, so... Alex is working on taking this bed frame apart, which honestly never really worked for us because it's just so, I don't want to say crickety, but maybe not put together correctly. Maybe just flimsy. That's, that's a good word. They're playing with a tea set behind me and that's probably real loud for you. It's loud for me. It's bothering me. So hold on. Okay, well, 20 hours later, it's the next day. It's actually 2035. Thanks for sticking around. (laughs) Okay, 
What's happening? What were we talking about? Hey, cleaning up the floors. Oh man, it feels so good to move in here. So we ended up getting rid of this old rickety uh, twin bed frame. Uh, you know, there's a story behind this, but maybe for another day. Actually, the flowers that are on the wall, yeah, it's, it's too long of a story, but <laughs> Alex wanted to throw the flowers on the wall away. You'll see those in a second. And I said, we can't throw those away. Those are so cool. They are, I don't know, made from paper, really thick construction paper, I guess. And I just think they're so cute and Meredith loves them. So we took them off the wall and I put them in her closet to hopefully one day hang up in her room once we figure out where things are going. But Oh my gosh, this dollhouse too. For the longest time, Meredith started taking the dollhouse apart and we donated this by the way. She was, and, and the dressers, we have a Salvation Army furniture pickup coming soon. So we're excited about that one to clear out our garage a little bit. But this dollhouse, she started taking it apart because she didn't want it. I'm like, what? Are, hello, are you okay? So as you can see, like the pieces are to the right, like behind the door. And once I got everything off of it, she, there's this, like a cat on one of the pictures in the background, you know, and she just is not into it. She thinks it's looking at her a weird way. Whatever. I get it. Like, you know, I've got my things, but <laughs> she's like, I don't want it. I don't want it. So we put it outside to like, you know, make a pile to donate. And while it was out there, this is Alex and I trying to figure out how to put it together because I don't want to like donate it in pieces, right? So we're figuring out how to put it together where, like we couldn't figure out where the heck this thing goes, but maybe he did eventually. Anyway, so we put it outside and she came home from school that day. Oh my gosh, like loving the castle. I said, oh, so you want to keep it? <laughs> Sometimes that's all it takes, okay? Threatening to donate. <laughs> and then they don't want to get rid of anything, so... That ended up back in her room as well. Oh my gosh, and finally, it's happened to me. Moving in the fireplace. Yes, a fireplace in Florida. It's essential. I don't care what you say. So actually, surprisingly, a lot of the houses in Florida have fireplaces. And I love when they run them because you can just smell them in the neighborhood, you know? Anyway, so this was sitting in the garage. Alex found it at an estate sale for, I think it was listed for 200 or something. So I don't know if he got it for 150 or 100. Alex was basically like, what's your best offer? It was like the third day of the estate sale. And I guess it was still there. I don't know. It was the first time Alex went. So anyway, for a hundred, hundred fifty dollars we got this amazing electric fireplace. I still can't even believe it. So it's been in my garage. I've been dreaming of hanging our stockings on here for Christmas, just gathering around, just reading stories, whatever. So it's finally in here. It had been in our garage for a long time, so it did need a very good wipe down and maybe even a coat of paint. I don't know if I'm going to paint the fireplace. I don't know if I'm going to paint the back wall in this bedroom. I don't know if I'm going to do both. I know that's a thing I've seen a lot of people do, like a darker color. I have no idea. The, the possibilities are endless. My mind is like, let me go on Pinterest and pin a million things and then wait a week and see if I still like it. So... I don't know what we're going to do. If you have any suggestions, I would love to hear what you think I should do with it. As you can see, the fireplace, it's not in pristine condition, but it works and it's actually amazing. Alex turned it on and it, oh my gosh, it smells crazy. Like the fire is going and it lets off heat. I had no idea. I thought it was just going to be one of those like fake things. But it looks pretty real if you ask me. And I love that it's behind like a glass thing. Obviously it has to be because it's electric. But for the kids' sakes, like they, you know, won't get hurt by it. And I was just so surprised when I found out, one, it worked. And two, it actually emits heat. I was like, what? And it's actually been cold lately. So that's been pretty fun. But normally I just turn it on. I say normally like it's a new thing. <laughs> I mean, it is a new thing, but it's not a thing yet because it's only been a few days but I have been turning it on just for the aesthetics, just because I'm like, oh my gosh, a fireplace. I don't think we've ever had one. Alex had one in his first townhouse, but that was many, many years ago, like 18 years ago, maybe 19. I don't remember. What year is it? Oh, right. It's 2034. So it's been like, you know, 50 years. I don't know. Anyway, so we're just putting it back together and I am just 
seeing the vision of this office, it's like office slash formal living room ish is how I'm going. If I wanted it to be a full office, like maybe I would have put my desk in the middle, but I don't like that. I just, it, I, I want my office to be tucked away. I don't want anyone to even see that it exists kind of like me. <laughs> And I just want it hidden, right? I want the fireplace to be in the forefront. I want some like chairs on the side or maybe a couch. This is when he turned on. I was like, oh my gosh, look how good that looks. Doesn't that look good? So cool. So I was like, oh my gosh, it actually heats up. I couldn't believe it. It's so fun. Listen, I'm a true Floridian. If you're like, uh, yeah, it heats up, Kim, calm down. Listen, okay. It's the first thing I've ever owned. It's the first time I've ever owned a fireplace. So it was exciting for me especially because I didn't even know it had that function. So it's the little things in life. Celebrate it all. Get excited. Don't make anyone make you feel bad about getting excited about the dumb things. It, dumb, I'm using quotation marks. And then Meredith came in. She was like, oh my, it's a fire, a campfire, she said. I was like, heck yeah, it is. Oh gosh, it's just the greatest. So I'm wondering how to decorate this fireplace. So everywhere on Pinterest, of course, everyone has like a mirror on their fireplace. And so for a while I thought, okay, let's do that. But I don't know if I like that. I found a really cool piece of artwork. You're gonna see that in the next video. So a little cliffhanger there. I found the coolest piece. It, it was at an antique store, so it was a little pricey. And I didn't buy it because I was like, I don't know, let me think it over. And by the time I actually go to buy it, it's probably going to be sold. But anyway, I found it and now I can't stop thinking about it, which in my mind means, yes, you love it. So I might go back and get that, but it's very huge. And if I get a mirror to, with it, I don't think that would look good. So I've seen those like faux windows. So that might work. I found one that's like really skinny and super tall. So I don't know. I don't know what to do up here. I have some ideas floating around. I also want to go to the thrift store and like look for different things. So Alex and I are looking at the window and we're like, we see a spot on the window. And I said, what is that even from? I don't even, I can't reach it to clean it. And it's on the outside and I'll show it to you. Oh, it's from a little new year's Eve party mishap with the firework. <laughs> so I have a little, you know, physical reminder of what happened on that night. So crazy. Thankfully, no one got hurt. I say that with a question mark. I hope no one got hurt. Everyone said that they were okay. So let's just fingers crossed. Everything is still fine, but <laughs> it was wild and crazy. I'll just say that. So that's, uh, I don't know how to clean that off. I guess with a hose, I could try to do that. But anyway, so I moved the armoire. It's on uh, the wardrobe to the right side of the room. I just really need somewhere to put the, my printer, right? And I don't know what I'm looking for right now. Oh, I found a Google device while we were moving. I, you know, I don't even know what's in a bunch of these drawers. One's just paper. One is my Cricut stuff. One is probably important things that I should probably put in our file cabinet, but it's here for easy access. And then the wardrobe, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It was always my idea to paint it. I might just sand it down. I like the wood look, but I like, I don't like this color of stain. I like more of a natural wood so I might just sand it down I don't know if I'll put it like on the other wall between two chairs ah uh, I just don't know oh and then we took these down I had to show you how Alex was creatively taking them down I was like I can't reach those and he said give me the broom he got most of them anyway but they were on like the command strips and I said I gotta get those down so I had to jump up on the fireplace and grab all those command strips and they, it only took off one little bit of paint on my wall, but I think it's because it was the first one I did and I didn't pull it the right way. I like pull, you know, obviously I did it the wrong way because it pulled off paint off my wall. Um, and then, you know, what happens when you move things and you have to go through things and declutter things. And that's what we spent all weekend doing with the kids rooms, like going through and having fun and well, fun, <laughs> but <laughs> in this, uh, office space, if you will my stack of drawers, those are from Ikea, and I could never get the bottom one to close, well, I could, but then, you know, as time progressed, there was something stuck behind this bottom drawer, and I thought, what the heck is behind there? This is crazy. So Alex went in with his monster arm and, like, started sifting around. He's like, oh, there's a, a spiral notebook, and I was like, what? But his wrist was too big. He kept grabbing it, but he couldn't, like, get you know, so anyway, he said, you do it. And it had me cracking up because, well, when he was doing it, because it looked like his arm was about to snap off. I was like, I know that hurts. It looks like it hurts, but I did it. And it was totally fine. And I got everything behind here. And he said, get rid of all that. You don't need any of it. I said, these are memories. Are you kidding me? I don't know. I could not get rid of it. He's like, I'm going to take pictures of it so you can get rid of it. 
So, oh, we're trying to do the, the new millennial heart, which I can't for the life of me figure out how to do. I don't know. It doesn't look natural to me. Like, where do you put, wait, wait, it uses, it. yeah, I still can't figure it out. I'm going <laughs> to, I need Eleanor's help for this one. Avelina's maybe too, but anyway, that's what we were doing. Going through all the, this is where I put all the kids like memories and artwork and like if they write books or stories or anything, that's where I store it. And he was like, you just get rid of it. We don't need it. I said, it's memories. And we were just having a laugh going through all of it. Like, oh, the oohs and ahs. And also, why the heck are you keeping this? And I tried to show you the Chuck E. Cheese. It was a picture. (laughs) Well, at one time it was a picture, but it had completely faded And so I told Alex, it's memories. (laughs) Uh, So that was a fun time just going through all this stuff. And, you know, it's always a good idea, a way to store kids artwork by taking pictures of it and then throwing it into a photo book. But I never make it into a photo book. I am two years. I am perpetually two years behind on my photo books. It's like as soon as I make a couple... I'm still two years behind, (laughs) you know, I'm like two years and a couple seasons, two and a half years, and then I'll do half a year and then it'll just, it's a never ending cycle. So one day, maybe I'll catch up. That day is not today. I'll tell you that. But especially if I'm adding projects like this, like, oh, let's make one of the kids artworks. And in theory, it sounds like it would be a simple idea. Take the pictures, load them up. But I have a problem and I need to place all the pictures like in order and by child, like who created the artwork, you know what I mean? So I can't just throw it into a book, which would be the easy way to do it. I have to label it and I have to like sort them and do, so it hasn't been done yet, but Alex hopefully is racking up a ton on his phone and maybe one day we'll do that. But these were just, oh my gosh, so fun, right? Oh, and Hickory Dickory Doc, I mean, come on, the mouse ran up the clock. I don't know what kind of hat I'm wearing, a pilgrim hat or something. The kids always have like, you know, a Thanksgiving festival at their school and they always just do an amazing job of creating the most brilliant pieces of artwork. And I can't throw any of it away. It is a problem. We have boxes of it in the garage. I'm like, what, what else can we put in the garage? Like it's the, like, why not? You know, I'm not going to get rid of it. Not yet. I can't actually, we have gotten rid of a lot over the years, but some stuff I'm just hanging on to. And that's it. And I don't care about it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So finally got done doing that. I moved into our bedroom which seems so empty now, first of all. And I'm just going through, this was the remnants of the computer. I was like picking up random stuff off the floor. Some of it's garbage. Some of it just needs to go elsewhere, but also where else? You know, (laughs) I don't know. The new linen closets in the addition aren't complete yet. I mean, the closets are, but we bought built-ins, but Ikea is on back order on some of their PAX wardrobes. So I'm just waiting impatiently for them to come back in stock. So once they do, then we'll be able to put like party supplies in there and just random crafts, which is, oh, would be so nice to have some closet storage because despite how large the overall house is, it, it, there's not a ton of storage in here. There's like not a lot of storage space. Okay, I'm just going to say that. Some of you are like, yes, there is. Well, that's subjective, all right? My closet is massive and it has turned into like storage for all the things. So we make it work. Obviously, we've always made it work with what we have, but I'm impatiently waiting for the new closets to get done, like the new pack system to arrive. So all that good stuff could be done. And then I'll have a spot for everything. What do the military say? There's a home for everything and everything in its place. Something like that. (laughs) But holy crap, how big is this bedroom? I forgot how big it was. Honestly, it's been three bedrooms in one for the past two years or year and a half, however long the heck it's been. It's been a while. It's been a while. And honestly, like I could have kept my desk in here and I'm kind of debating like, should I keep my desk in there? I don't know. Just make this this front room just a formal living room ish of course i had to throw this wolf painting on here and as soon as i did alex is like that's not a wolf i forgot what he called it that's a he called it a different animal i said that's a wolf what are you talking about and then he googled it on his phone apparently it's a fox that is a fox ladies and gentlemen and i said 
whatever. That's the prettiest fox I've ever seen. And it looks like a wolf to me. So I'm rolling with it. Also, it's, I have to like open the frame because the picture is actually crooked. I got that from the thrift store for $4. You can't get a frame these days for $4. That's just been sitting in my garage for God knows how long. But as soon as I move it from here, I'll put it in Wolfgang's room because <laughs> I mean, obviously. And then there's also, he's Googling it on his phone right now. He's looking it up. And then there's also a painting or a picture, whatever, of a wolf in the guest bathroom. And I just love that one so much. And so eh, you can say I've got a, a little obsession, a little problem, but for now that looks okay and I'm digging it. <laughs> I don't know what to do in here. I'm at a loss for how to decorate really anything in my life, but I don't know. I, I find joy in like learning and like taking steps and then the final product in the end. Does it ever really look Pinterest worthy? No, but I'm okay with that because my house is never going to be, my life will never be, you know, Pinterest worthy. So now you can see how Meredith's bed finally, it, it got its final resting spot right there by the, oh, that was great editing. Hold on. So right there by the window, I feel like it tucked in so perfectly. And so I'm just trying to tidy up her closet, trying, okay. Eventually I'll get like organizing bins and we'll go through it. And I don't know if I want to keep the dresser in here. She definitely needs drawers. I might go to Ikea. They have like some really cool drawers. I might, uh, you know, it, all this stuff might, 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 maybe who knows. So I definitely need somewhere better to store her dress up clothes because like those bins are just not large enough. And then people are just using this as a dumping ground. Like that is a bag of socks. They belong to no one. I don't, they just keep floating around our house. I'm like, this is a little bit ridiculous. And then of course the little kids, they were, they came home from school and um, they're just, you know, loving the new space. What did you just say? Breaking my mind. This is breaking my mind. <laughs> like blowing your mind? Like you can't even believe that this is your room? Can you believe that? She's so cute. She is loving her new room from the second Eleanor moved out. She has been waiting very patiently to have her own room. Not that like she, she just, she loved the room that she had. I think she's just happy with anything, but this one is obviously a little bigger, a formal room, you know? So she was really excited to move in here. She said, it is breaking my mind. And I just thought that was so cute. It's blowing my mind in her own little words. And so now was the time to tackle all the toys. She has a lot of toys. I will say most of them are in her room. Obviously we have a whole playroom upstairs, but she plays a lot down here too. So it's just nice to have the break, but also most of her toys are in her room. What did I, oh, I found Reese's. <laughs> I was trying to hide it. <laughs> Ah, so good. Always finding chocolate around the house. Anyway, so I put Barbies in one bin and I put all the little toys in the other. I got rid of some toys. Some stuff didn't belong in here. Obviously that hockey stick. So, you know, just decluttering and sorting and all of the fun stuff that comes along with like moving rooms. And honestly, it feels nice to kind of start off. I don't want to say a blank slate, but that's kind of what it feels like. Start start off like that. I don't know. End up like that. I recently went through her two drawers on her night side table, her bedside table, and I got rid of so much stuff just going through those two drawers. So those are, <clears throat> I want to say organized. They're not really organized, but it's good enough, better than what it was. And that is my goal in life. Just as long as it's a step better than what it was, I'm okay with it. So now I have a running list of things that I need to get for the kids' rooms. Like Wolfgang needs a laundry basket. He's always used ours. And a trash can. <laughs> and like little things like that where you don't really think. And then also like a toilet bowl cleaner for the, um, the addition bathroom. Like all those little things. So I've been mentally making lists. I think it's time for me to actually bring out the pen and paper and room by room go through like what I need for each room and then what obviously the kids want for each of their rooms. And so it's just an exciting time. And here's just an overview of what her room actually looks like when it's tidy. Doesn't look like this for very long, but man, so big, so exciting. Can't move the rug because it's taped down. I mean, we can move it, but we're gonna leave it there for a little bit until we figure out what we wanna do with it. And then the closet, oh my gosh, I just can't even believe she has a closet, it's great. Well, that is it. 
I did enough. And I can't even believe, like look how much room we have for all the activities in here. I don't know what the heck we're gonna do in here either. So many possibilities, but thank you guys for watching and hanging out while we got all of that stuff done. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day so you can see the progress, what we actually do with the rooms. Who the heck knows? I'm about to go to the thrift store and see if I can find anything cool. I'll see you next time, bye.